walk out here. No twisting of ankles. Should have my boots on. Welcome guys. Place I uh, used to come to as a kid all the time. Some uh, abandoned railroad tracks from way back. And uh, it goes across an old train trestle called Boxcar Canyon. So come along. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Alright you guys, hope you're enjoying. Truly is a beautiful place. Didn't realize when I was a kid just how much how lucky I was to get to grow up in a place like this. I used to ride a motorcycle up and down trails along the tracks, all over the hills and mountains. Good times. Had some good friends up here in Eatonville. The grass is so nice on the tracks. It's almost like you could just mow it. <laughs> it's like a lawn. Getting a good workout in. Hope you're enjoying. You know, I always forget something. I'm a typical guy. Seems like it takes forever for my lovely friend Amy to get ready but she always comes prepared you know what I mean guess what I forgot I got bug spray I got my flashlight this time I don't know what I'm gonna need it for but I've kind of learned just to bring it I forgot sunscreen so I'm gonna get a probably a nice burn on the back of my neck I usually don't burn that easy. It's the skin type I have. Usually just get tan, but uh, it's a nice sunny day. I'll give a shout out to uh, JP Videos. He's a good guy. He was over more on the eastern coast. Um, I'm on the west coast, but uh, good guy. He has some good adventure videos. I've been doing this uh, adventure stuff for quite a long time, just not doing a lot of YouTube until just this year, basically. A little bit last year. But uh, he finds these. Go check his channel out, uh, JP Videos. He's got some good content. Really nice guy, he does a lot of live stuff. Good family. Anyway, he uh, does these little adventures along the train tracks too which I love and that's a nickel on the ground there pick that up on the way back for good luck but some of the stuff he does has the old power lines you know the old poles with the insulators I would love to find some of that stuff but I think that stuff up here has been gone for a long time I bet if, uh, I don't even know, this is pretty old tracks, I, I don't even know if they uh, ran power lines along it or not, I imagine they did, but uh, if you looked in the woods really carefully, I bet you would find some old light poles, old power poles with uh, insulators on it. Hello. Worth the trek? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Alright guys. Here we are. We made it. Might walk out there a little bit, but uh I'm gonna set some of my stuff down. 
set some of my stuff down if I decide to walk out here a little ways. This is uh this is it, this is Boxcar Canyon. Very cool place. Neat trestle. And the Michelle River that goes. People come swimming here all the time. And you can hear you can see them down there now. They look pretty young too, so I won't do any zooming. Beautiful place to swim. So unfortunately a lot of trash is left these days. Wish people would just carry it out, you know. But uh, this is kind of how things are now, unfortunately. Alright, so let me set my pack down. It's uh, getting closer to the 4th of July, so it sounds like here's some fireworks. But alright guys, let's uh, carefully walk out here. No twisting of ankles. Should have my boots on. I know. Not the best shoes, but they're really comfortable to walk in. I'm gonna stay away from that edge just in case. And there's no way to uh, fall between these. They're so close together. You can see that this uh, trestle's even been burned, caught on fire before. So we'll go over to this part, which has been rebuilt and is uh, concrete and metal now. You can see the uh, gravel in, inside. And there's a beautiful view of the Michelle. Beautiful view of the Michelle River. Try to keep the noise, the wind noise down a little bit guys. Sorry if it's uh, kind of loud. It's a little windy up here. Can smell the uh, sulfur from the fireworks. Hear the roaring little river. Smell the creosote from the railroad tracks that are no longer in use. Abandoned tracks. And check out all the trails that people hike down to get down to the river. You know, and uh, I never jumped off of here when I was younger, but uh, lots of high schoolers did. It was before my time, including some uh, family members. And uh, yeah, I don't think they do that anymore. They probably do. I'm sure there's still some real crazy kids. concludes our adventure to Boxcar Canyon. Thanks for coming along. I really appreciate you guys. Appreciate your support. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. It helps us uh, bump up in the algorithm for YouTube and get to uh, be able to share this content with a lot more people. Appreciate it. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.